It would mean more than our jobs. You took a cab here, right? Yeah. I'll drive. All right. Snow? Marissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. Don't worry. You're distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um, no, I understand. It's just that something's come up. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? I, uh... I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. Nerissa! Yeah, uh, Thank you, little you mermaid. Go be at that funeral. <laughs> Lawrence! Lawrence! No! Wait, wait, wait. Easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? That way, it's proper. Now is really not the time for whatever you jerk-offs are planning to do. Well, isn't that the thing of it? Plans. Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning yourself with. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fit to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. You're trying to pull this shit at a funeral? We can deal with this later. No, not later. Later's too late. Right now. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Brother, speak your mind. Fastly now. Just don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please. Rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby? What is he talking about? Never you mind that. It ain't any of your... What deal? They want me to leave Crane alone. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. Really. That wasn't right, telling everyone our dealings. What did I tell you? What did I say? Holly? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, let me handle this. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill you! No. Don't do it. Oh, you. I got it done. Oh no, you damn. Fuck you. Shit. Oh god, the two fat boys ran off. That's not good. This is a good, this is a good theme. Yeah, I should probably talk over it though, you know, just so YouTube don't go copyright. Oh, you use this shit. We need your money, YouTube. We need <laughs> we need your money. You don't make anything off of this shit because there's songs in it that was built in the game. Hashtag make YouTube great again. See, I haven't gotten a copyright strike yet, so I can't really bitch about it, but the fact is is that 
it, I, I just from what people are ranting about, it is really stupid. Aren't you're like if something's built in the game, you should be allowed to use it. Like if it's music, I understand, but like stuff like this, where it's the the score from it, where it was made, and people n them full knowingly what to be put. It's like when Treyarch does the unskippable cutscenes, and you then you can't you you can't show them on a game. Or, or, or you're screwed. You know, it, it pisses me off when it, when they do that. I can't skip it, and then it's and it, it, it's it's trademarked, I so it means that I can, no one can watch it. Still some shards left embedded in. Your if your story. channel's small, well, I mean, like you know, know there's some people who just upload a reaction video or the sword. actual cutscene. But yeah, hey, you know, I'm sitting. Uh, appointed Fable Town physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <sighs> Got it. No, Don't I got go it. Don't for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. And try and get some rest. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Is she? She's fine, Bigby. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. I'll try to. All right then. Very good. He's the A. He's saying he's trying to. So. Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White. Thank, Big thank, B. Thank you, Doctor Swinehart. Dick, I'm just not gonna stare so, at you. To recap, Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it. And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So I guess that's the plan currently. But I, I don't know. There's no other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just uh, stupid shit. I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if. I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it, but do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just, it's incomprehensible to me. I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver. A, a coward. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he... Held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there I'm really is nothing to worry about, you drunk by the bitch. Way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I'm glad you were there. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Yeah. Can I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you, but after tonight, it's on my mind. Sure. It's just... All right. When yeah. stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. Huh. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong because it gives you an excuse to just you know stop pretending so what if i do you think we're broken or something is that it i don't know maybe we're just not cut out for this world probably not we can't eat each other's hearts anymore bigby this can't be like the old days 
We have to make it better. Uh, guys, 